Uh, I'm going to be going in the Bear County Tax Office. That's in downtown San Antonio. Uh, last time I was here, they had a um, 30.06 sign uh, posted at the door. They also have metal detectors. Um, important to the Texas State Penal Code. Uh, public buildings uh, aren't supposed to be prohibited for concealed handgun license holders to be able to enter with their gun, uh, which I have at CHL. And uh, recently, as of September 1st, 2015, uh, Senate Bill 273 passed, which is um, a mechanism for people to report to the Attorney General of violations of that law where a public entity posts a sign, whether it's a 30.06 or your standard gun, you know, gun with a red X over it, you know, whatever, gun buster signs, what people call them. But uh, I'm going to see if that 30.06 uh, 30 sign is on the glass. And then when I go inside to the metal detectors, even if it is or isn't, I'm going to show them my CHL and uh, explain to them that it's... Uh, against the law to not let me go into a public building with it and see what happens. Uh, if they don't know, inform them. I have a copy of the uh, Senate Bill 273 with me to show them. And uh, the only reason why I can see, and they may explain this to me, I was not able to find information out online, is um, I can be prohibited from going into a public building if it is a court or has court offices. Um, and it's possible that there's some sort of office that's part of the court, but uh, we'll see how it goes uh, as we're walking inside because we're on the other side of the parking lot. I may fast forward it uh, so that way, um, you know, it's not making the video longer than me already running my mouth here. And uh, it might not be perfectly recorded with like us in the frame because just sitting in the cup holder, uh, my wife is with the baby. So we'll see how it goes. They did take down their uh, 30 dot zero six. Well, that went pretty smooth. Uh, it was similar process is going into the Capitol building with a concealed handgun and with your concealed handgun license. Uh, I just kind of showed the security guard, my CHL, and then he kind of didn't know what I was showing him at first, and then I was like, you know, I have my gun with me, and then they just allowed me, as you saw, to go around the metal detector and just went about my business. But just finished up, went pretty smooth, good to go. No 30.06. I have my uh, CHL, 
my gun with me. Okay, hold on. I was just here before and then you saw me through. Okay, I, I do understand that you're your CHO, but unfortunately I'm going to have to ask you to leave it in your vehicle. We don't Why? allow weapons inside the building. Why not? That's the policy we have. Yeah, but it's, you know the law that passed, right? Is this is this a court building? No, sir. This is a public building then, so I'm able to carry it in. And I was actually here earlier today, and the guy just looked through. Okay, well I do apologize for that. That was probably a slip, but unfortunately we're not going to let you to bring it in. Okay, so. is there somebody that I can talk to above you? Because it's against the law to not let me in here. I with can if call, I have my concealed hand in my seat. I can call the sheriff's office if you'd like to. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Yep. Yes, uh, I just had a question. I was coming in here to the tax office. I was actually here earlier before, um, and with the, the security guards here, I showed them my CHL because I have my uh, pistol with me, so that way I just let them know coming through the metal detector they don't freak out, and uh, I had to come back in just to return my plates, and um, the, the guy right now is telling me all of a sudden that I can't come in, and uh, what, why is that? Yes, I am. Ticket number eight, three hundred ninety-four. Please proceed to desk number five. Ticket number eight, six hundred ninety-seven. Please. Um. Yes, it does. If you look up the verbiage of the recently passed bill, SB. Three hundred ninety-five. Please proceed to desk. No, it took it took effect September first, and that's the reason why the thirty dot zero six sign that was posted on this glass was taken down. Number eight, okay. Please proceed to desk number 14. Ticket number B, Well, the, yeah, a courthouse and a jail with um, penal code 30.06 says that you can't carry your pistol in there if you have, even if you have the CHL. But the law says that a public building that you guys have to allow me to come in here. Uh, yes, I will. I actually have a copy of it in my truck, or you can look it up if you, if you have access to a computer. Ticket number 8397. Please proceed to desk number 15. Ticket number T. Okay, um, uh, what did you say your name was again? Yes. Badge number 1896. Okay, because I'm going to make a report to the Attorney General's office. Okay, well, that, that, that's fine. It's just you're violating my rights, so. And uh, the Attorney General's office is going to file a, a fine against you guys for every day you don't allow somebody in here. Yep, bye. Can I at least just give it to the lady right there? That's all I need to do. I already did all the paperwork. I literally just need to hand them to her and I'll leave. Okay. Um, it was Gina Crockett. She was at window number two over here. Okay. No, I, I know. I, I know it's not your fault, and, and he's ignorant to it too. Because I came in before and I explained it to the guy, and he was like, "You're absolutely right." I, I do apologize. I mean, it was your step, but I, mean, I don't know how it works. Yeah, I know. I don't expect you to know the law, but he's the deputy. He should know. I apologize. So I'll be following up with him. No, it's fine. I appreciate it. Yeah, she was at window number two.
Well, that went a lot differently than last time. I'm glad I had my phone recording. Um, I'm going to request an apology from that deputy. Alright, I just got in the truck a little bit after my second visit to the uh, Bear County uh, tax office to return my plates. Uh, if you hear any silly noises in the background, my wife's in the back with the baby, so that's what it is. Um, it was a little unfortunate. The deputy that I spoke to was on the phone, so he didn't get to hear his end of the conversation. But uh, paraphrasing what he said, basically, um, he told me at first that they're not allowed to and that me as a CH hold CHL holder should know that anywhere that is prohibited for me to go that I can't go. Um, explain to him or at least try to explain to him that you know public buildings don't apply you know unless it's a, a at least my understanding unless it's a you know jail a, a courthouse or a building that has court offices in it I'm able to carry in there and it's actually against the law for them to tell me not to and you know Again, par paraphrasing, not exactly, I wish it was recorded, but he basically told me that whatever rules that they make up as far as the county, um, it trumps the law, which, you know, obviously any, most people understand that that's not true. Um, also, he said that as a CH, CHL holder that you're not supposed to carry any state, county, or a government building, which again is not true. Um, so he gave me his badge number and he, he told me, you know, God bless you if you want to file a report, which I plan to do. Um, he also said that, you know, hey, if you can bring me a copy of the law, that uh, was one of the things he said too. So what I'm going to try to do first is uh, I have his badge number. I'm going to call the sheriff's department and ask to speak to him because I don't know what the security guard called him and I'll say hey if you want to set up a meeting I'll bring in the law and explain how you're incorrect uh, I'm all about them learning as much as I want to learn because if I'm wrong I want to know but I'm pretty sure I'm not uh, that's the reason why like I had explained to him that the 30.06 signs that were on the glass uh, saying that you know concealed handguns were um, not permitted inside the building was unlawful for SB 372 that passed uh, and took effect September 1st 2015 that's why it got taken down uh, anyway I will post a follow-up with whatever happens